If you use Kittle for print on demand, you're well aware of the amazing templates that they offer. However, Kittle's also growing AI tools, and that's artificial intelligence. So in this video, I'm going to walk through five artificial intelligence tools on Kittle and do a quick walkthrough on how you can use these to maximize the value that you get inside of Kittle. Okay, now to check out these tools, you're just gonna go up here to the top of the main page and you're gonna to go to tools, and then you've got a whole bunch of different tools here. And as we jump in, I'm just gonna point out that I'm gonna put a link to Kittle in the video description below. And just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on it and you purchase the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. Let's check out the first artificial intelligence tool and it's the AI image and vector generator. So here's two options right here, AI vector generator and AI image generator. I'm gonna to go to the first one, AI vector generator. And we can see here, there's a little walkthrough on how it looks, but I'm gonna click on Generate Vector Art with Kittle AI, and it will open up whatever project you were working on last. So here I've just got a basic template set up 1200 by 1200, and we can see now at Kittle AI, it's now over on the left-hand side. Now if you're already working on a project and you'd like to use Kittle AI, it's over on the left, down at the bottom, you click on Kittle AI, that'll bring you to the exact same page. So here we've got the image generator. I'm gonna type in my image request with text. I'm just gonna simply type in cat. And then for my image styles, I'm gonna to go to show all, and I can see a whole bunch of different image styles. Now when I hover over them, you're going to see the words pop up, photography, anime, art deco. I'm gonna click on psychedelic. And then from there, I simply click generate image. And we can see now the image pops up. I can make it larger, I can rotate it, I can flip it around, I can do all sorts of things with it. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. If you would like to generate a vector, it's very similar. So I'm gonna go here to the left-hand side, down at the bottom, Kittle AI. And instead of the image styles, I'm going to go here to vector styles down at the bottom. And I can click show all, and I can see these different vector styles. Again, it works the exact same. Anime, line art, silhouette, in this case, I'm gonna click Silhouette, and I'm gonna click Generate Image. So now it's generating cat in a silhouette style, and this will be an actual vector. Now a vector is infinitely scalable, so it typically looks a bit cleaner than an image. And there we can see we have a simple cat vector that's set up, and I think that looks absolutely fantastic. The second Kittle AI resource I really like is the background remover. Using artificial intelligence, I can remove the background on this photograph, for example. When I click on the image, a little menu pops up. So when you're off of the image, the menu won't be there. When you click on the image, now you have an image menu over on the right-hand side. Right there in the middle, AI background remover. I'm simply gonna click it, and wow, just like that, I've now got an image with no background whatsoever. I've now added in another photo, this time of another background, and we can now make an image. I'm gonna throw him down here at the bottom, and just like that, we've now got a completely manipulated photo using the powers of AI. The third Kittle AI tool that I really like is the SVG converter. So here I have an image of a cat, and it's an image, looks great, but I can't change the color. You'll notice on the right-hand side, there's no color option. So what I can do is I can change this now into an SVG. And I do that over here on the right, clicking the image vectorizer. When I click on it, it's going to ask me how many colors I would like to make this. So I'm gonna make it the maximum amount of colors, 16, and I'm gonna click vectorize image. It now changes this into a vector. I'm gonna make it nice and big here so we can see it. And over here on the right, I can now change the color. So for example, the first color, the dark blue, I can change it to a lighter blue if I wanted. I can completely modify how this looks. I think this is an absolutely fantastic tool because now I've got a crystal clear vector that I can scale up and change the colors on. Kittle AI feature number four is the AI art feed. You might not have heard of this before because it's kind of hidden, it's up in the top. So at the top, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to tools and under AI features, there's an AI art feed, find and use stunning AI art. You'll see a whole bunch of art that's sitting here, and there's also trending searches. So I can type in, for example, tiger, and I can see a whole bunch of tigers come back, and I can use these now for my designs. I can click on the tiger face, for example, right here, tiger in a hippie look, and I can use the image right here. If I click on use image, it now populates into my template, and I can now manipulate it just like any 
other image. It's an absolutely fantastic resource. I highly recommend it. Kittle AI resource number five are the image styles themselves. And so the way you look at the image styles is you go to your image template and then you're gonna call up an image. So I'm gonna go here to Kittle AI and I'm going to type in, for example, dog. And now I've got some choices to make. I've got my aspect ratios that I can use so I can make a square image or a tall image or a fat image. I'm gonna do a tall image and then I'm going to go to styles and I'm gonna to go to show all. So here I've got different image styles at the top. I've got clip art styles and vector styles. I highly recommend that you run the same prompt through the different styles. And that's what I'm gonna do here for clip art. I've got seven different clip art styles and I'm gonna show you all of them. And check this out. We've got the t-shirt graphic style here on the top left. We've got the watercolor style in the middle. We've got the cartoon style over on the right. I have the detailed drawing here, sort of on the left-hand side. The mascot drawing, it looks like a little superhero. We've got the kawaii icon right here. And at the very bottom, we have the pencil drawing. These all are radically different, even though the keyword is the exact same. So I highly recommend checking out the different art styles because the AI is actually pretty smart and will mimic different art styles depending on your text input. Wow, look at the detail on that doggy. That looks so cool. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Kittle. I use Kittle a lot for print on demand. I highly recommend it. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand using the powers of Kittle.